DeWalt updated the DCD 791 and 796 to the new DCD 800 and 805. The first thing they did was shorten up the body of the drill by about one half of an inch. That body is a little bit wider, but with its shorter and wider stance, DeWalt is claiming 40% more power. They also changed the LED light that's up front. It is now adjustable, so you can adjust it to three positions, straight forward, a little bit up and then more up towards your drill. That's all going to depend on if you're going to use this as a light to supplement your drilling or a light for working. This also has the same style of light that can be turned off, it can be turned on with the trigger, or it can be left on for 20 minutes. It is a nice 70 lumen light up there. And this drill has a lot to offer. We're going to show you the differences between the two by trying to run through some different drill bits. Let's get after it. DeWalt continued with two-speed operation on the DCD 800 and 805. You have 0 to 650 RPM compared to 0 to 550 RPM on the older model, and they retain 0 to 2000 RPM on high speed. You still have 15 clutch positions. This is still a mechanical clutch. Let's start drilling here with the 800 and see how it does with a one-inch spade bit. And here's the 791. And there's a significant difference. Let's move up to an inch and a quarter spade bit with the DCD 800. And here's the DCD 791 with that same spade bit. Here's the DCD 800 with an inch and a half spade bit, still on high. It did bog down and stop on the first hole. And here is the DCD 791 with an inch and a half spade bit. We'll switch to low. Here's the DCD 800 with an inch and three quarter inch bore bit on level high. Let's see how it does. Here's the DCD 791 with that same inch and three quarter inch boring bit. Just like some of the older drills, this new DCD 800 and 805 will also have lower power with smaller batteries. This is a standard two amp hour battery and we have the same inch and three quarter bore bit on here. Let's see how it does. And here's the DCD 791 with the same two amp hour battery and bore bit. Interestingly enough, the 791 actually made it farther, so that might prove that the newer drills are a little bit more susceptible to a lesser performing battery. Just for fun, let's take the DCD 800, put on the 4 amp hour compact battery in the 1.5 inch spade bit and see how it does again. Cut out near the end of the hole. Bogging slightly near the end of the hole. We had it bogging again near the end of the hole. Let's just try the power stack here and listen and see if there's a speed difference. Definitely no bogging at all. Cut out near the end of the hole. 
little bit of bogging there. Now we have the 791 with the four amp hour compact and the inch and a half spade bit. Let's try it with the power stack. Still not gonna go through. The new DCD 800 and 805 seem like a great step forward in power. They seem like they're gonna be able to use some of that battery power that is coming out of the new technology a little better than maybe our old technology. Like we've seen with some other brands, there's a little bit more heat that is going to be generated in this smaller body and larger circumference motor. And I don't know how that's going to last long term. So what we're going to do is do some different testing on this for a little bit more long term testing and get back with you guys. We'll leave it in the comments below. As always, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like on this video. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.